Hey, I've got a stock instrument for you today. I don't make many um, instruments to st for stock, but I do once in a while when I have a hole in the schedule or when I just want to kind of follow my own whimsy. And that's an ex this instrument is an example of that. So this is a tenor uke with a curly per Port Orford cedar top and a master grade myrtle back and sides. Really beautiful, stunning curly myrtle with some beautiful colors in it. Pistachio binding bridge, fretboard, and head plate. I loved watching the wavy grain of this fretboard and head plate come together. Um, yeah, and a couple little interesting bit of uh, highlighting the flaws here. There's these two tiny little flaws in the Porterford Cedar that I liked and I kept right there. And then the neck, um, I used a piece of fur that was full of nail holes. And I joined it up and filled the nail holes with oak dowels. So it really shows its use, obviously. And that's an experiment for me. I've, I've had necks where I have one hole in it or so, but this one is all over the place. So I really need to find a special customer who's willing to work with me long term with this situation. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, obviously, I know it's strong enough, um, but I'll, I'll be curious long term what the texture of the neck is like uh, with these oak dowels in it. So hopefully, I can find one of you who wants to do that long-term experiment with me. So you guys know I love highlighting the flaws a little bit and this one really, really goes for it. sustain on this one very beautiful instrument um, I like it for strumming and finger picking it's got a low G on it right now so yeah cheers <laughs>